everybody, I'm Nicole. And this is... Alex. And today, we wanted to talk about candy bars. So when you think about a candy bar, yes. what's like the first thing that comes to your head? Like the Hershey's candy That's the bar. first one? Yeah. Oh. No. Okay. I don't know. Maybe well, not. when I think about candy bars, if I'm gonna buy a candy bar, I'm probably gonna go get a Snickers or something. Something with like some substance. Like a Butterfinger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do love a good Butterfinger. We wanted to talk about some different candy bars that you're probably very familiar with the ones that I'm about to show you. And then we're gonna talk about some that he's maybe never even heard of, and maybe you've never heard of them. I've heard of them because I own a candy store, and like, I just have to know about all this stuff. But Alex, he's learning. So let's start with one that I know he knows, and I know everyone out there knows. M&M's, not really a candy bar, but a very popular chocolate candy. Mm -hmm. Been around for a long time. Everybody knows them. They were made popular, I think, because of like World War II, where they were fighting in like warm conditions and they didn't want the chocolate to melt. And so that's why it has the candy shell. Oh, it melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Yeah, M&M's, who knew? So another one, Kit Kat. Kit Kat has been around since like the 1930s. It is globally produced by the Nestle Candy Company. But in America, it's produced by a division of Hershey. Weird, right? Interesting. Kind of explains why all over the world you can find all these different Kit Kat bars. But like in America, we're just like, Kit Kat. Here they are. Here they are, this is what you get. That's it, it's a four little bar thing. And how does, they have like a jingle. How does mm -hmm. that go? I'm not gonna sing it. What? Boo. Give it, me a break, mm -hmm. give me, come on. Break. break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's been around as long as you've been alive. Since 1980 something. something. Anyway, Kit Kat, made by Hershey in America. Speaking of Hershey, Hershey candy bars. It's like the OG of the candy bar world. According to the package, it says since 1894, but literally everything on the internet is like, yeah, no, these were first sold in 1900. So close, Hershey, given yourself a few extra years, like 1900. Made popular by Milton Hershey, who was basically the first chocolate bar pioneer in America. He started all of it. He started with the plain Hershey candy bar, which now has so many different varieties. There's like Hershey with almonds, Hershey's cookie and cream. Mm. There was one with like almonds and blueberries and cranberries. I've never seen that. If you've seen that, please let me know because it sounds delicious. Special dark, there's just regular dark. Hershey has evolved. So these three, with the exception of M&Ms, like not really a candy Candy bar, but a candy that everybody has probably heard of, tried, knows, and now you know more about it than you did when we started this video. I know a lot more. Exactly. But Kit Kat and Hershey, two very popular ones. You can find them at like any gas station, mm -hmm. any store, they're everywhere. Now I wanna just talk about like some that you've maybe never heard of. Oh gosh. If I can get this box to open. If you are a devoted St. Gen Candy YouTube channel follower watcher, then you have probably seen the video that we did on the Abba Zabba bar. Have you ever seen an Abba Zabba bar? I'm not. So I had never tried an Abba Zabba bar before. And one day, like a year ago, for the sake of this YouTube channel, I thought I'll make a video and I will try an Abba Zabba bar. Now, an Abba Zabba bar is chewy taffy. Okay, mm -hmm. I like taffy. I like all kinds of saltwater taffy with a peanut butter center. Interesting. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. I love peanut butter. Always have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for mm -hmm. lunch every day of my life. Peanut butter by the spoonful. I love it. But taffy and peanut butter, I thought oh, that seems weird. Strange. Turns out it's delicious. And if you want to see my full reaction to this, go check out our YouTube video on the Abba Zabba bar. You'll learn more than you've ever wanted to know about the Abba Zabba, Abba Zabba bar. And you'll get to see my full reaction. We're not actually gonna try this one today because I've already had it. Okay. So you'll have to just buy one of those on your own and try it or just take my word for it. I mean, you could get them anywhere, but yeah, I got course. that one at Sweet Things. That makes sense. Uh, little inside joke <laughs> for all of our Instagram followers there. Anyway, that now leads us to... Can you tell I was never a... 
drum major. <laughs> <laughs> the Big Hunk Bar. The Big Hunk Bar has been around not quite as long as the Hershey Bar, but the Big Hunk Bar is currently produced by the Annabelle Candy Company. Same candy company that makes the Abba Bar. Coincidence? Yes. It was originally produced by the Golden Nugget Candy Company. I've never heard of the Golden Nugget Candy Company because I don't think they exist. The Annabelle Candy Company bought out the rights to the Big Hunk Bar back in like the 1950s from the Golden Nugget Candy Company. So I think ever since then, that candy company just kind of like disappeared. Why is it called the Big Hunk? You know, nothing on the internet told me why it was actually called the Big Hunk, but we do get a lot of people that come into the candy store and they'll see it and they'll be like, <laughs> I should buy this for my husband. And I was like, mm, sure you should. <laughs> All jokes aside, the Big Hunk Candy Bar, mm -hmm. kind of like the Abba Zabba Bar, both chewy, but very different. This one is taffy with peanut butter. This is a chewy nougat, so like kind of taffy-esque with peanuts. Based on that, do you think you're gonna like it? Yes. I like peanuts. Okay, have you ever had like a payday? Mm. It's like heavy on peanuts. <laughs> it's very heavy on peanuts, yeah. Well, so this one, you can't even feel the peanuts in it. Oh, then yeah, it should be fine. Right, pretty mild. Why do I feel like I'm going to be in for a surprise? <laughs> I have no idea why you feel that way. But we are gonna dive right into this because like I said, I have never actually eaten one of these. Oh. I keep meaning to try them all the time, but I'm just like, that was a lot of a candy bar. I don't need to eat all of it. And what if I don't like it? Then I've just opened a candy bar that now I don't like. So I thought what better time to try a candy bar for the first time than with my old college roommate Yay. in a YouTube video for everyone on the internet to see. And now that you finally have a hunk present, it makes sense. Jokes. Let's dive into it. There's a few calories in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheat day. Maybe we're not gonna try it. Can't get it open. Great job on the packaging, Annabelle <laughs> Candy Company. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay, so have you ever had those little crunchy peanut butter bars? They're like this big. They're made by the Atkinson Candy Company, because of course I know that. My grandma used to have them all the time, so it's kind of like old lady candy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just crunchy, sugary, peanut, flavored little candy bars, peanut butter bars? No? You, okay. Well, that's exactly what this smells like. My grandma like. always had Heath bars. Oh, wow, your grandma had real strong teeth. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna like Lady and the Tramp. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the lady? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks interesting. <laughs> so much nougat, not taffy, and peanuts. It Looks like someone put peanuts in glue paste. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. It just, it smells it so smells good. It smells good. And the fact that it's already bending to your... Very, very bendy. I'm gonna take half and you take the other half. Do we twist? I don't know! Why is it so hard? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it tastes... Marshmallowy. Oh, you don't like it. Mm -mm. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it does not taste like marshmallows. Really? It could taste like marshmallow fluff to me. Not the same consistency, but it tastes like marshmallow fluff. It's interesting. It is interesting. The peanuts are very crunchy in it still. It's kind of weird that being surrounded in all of the nougat, it doesn't soften them. What is nougat exactly? Sugar. It's just a lot of sugar. <laughs> Egg whites, maybe? Corn syrup? Yeah. Peanuts, honey. That's what mm. gives it the like sweetness. I do like the honey part. And dried egg whites. Nougat is kind of like a meringue-ish. That was a lot. I shouldn't have bit off that much. Still not a fan? Uh, I think it's just like the taffy part. Maybe I'm not a fan of. I mean, it tastes good. It tastes good. <laughs> I think it's You're the, like, I'm gonna keep eating it's this. It's the chewing. Well, see, back in the day. A lesson in made up history. <laughs> Candy wasn't as readily available as it is now. So they made candy to where it would just last a lot longer. <laughs> they didn't. I made that up. It's not a real fact. You can't Google that and find it on the internet. Unless I put it on the internet. You don't have to keep eating it. Well, I feel kind of obligated to. It's like... Okay. I definitely wouldn't recommend eating this if you have a loose tooth <laughs> or fillings. Well, unless you're a little kid that eats it. We use their baby teeth making a mess. There's just peanuts going everywhere. I also don't think that you should take it completely out of the wrapper because <laughs> my hand is greasy now. <laughs> All right, well, I still have a lot of this left to finish. So Alex funny. miraculously finished his, but 
and he's gonna be chewing on that for a while. Mm -hmm. So if you have any thoughts on the Big Hunk Bar, if you've ever tried one, if you have any questions, I don't know that I'm gonna have the answers, but if you wanna try one of these, we do sell them in my store. So you can come and buy one in person, and then you can tell me, what did you think about it? Because all around, I think it's pretty good. Hunk. The label speaks for itself. Just a hunk. Hunk a hunk of bird in love. That can be like our outro. <laughs> Until next time, see ya. It's still stuck in there. Yeah, it's gonna be there for a while. <laughs>